We have a homeless organization that um, has a shelter. Um, they have a program called Code Blue uh, that uh, houses uh, the homeless uh, when the temperature drops below uh, 25 degrees. Um, they share churches, so one month it might be one church, the next month it's another church, and um, these folks go from place to place when it is too cold to be outdoors. We launder for the actual homeless people on a regular basis in, our, in a couple of our stores, and then we do all the uh, linens when they change from church to church. Uh, we do it pretty much free, and um, all they need to do is contact the shelter. The shelter contacts us by email, and we provide a card for them, so it's you know, something that they can actually show up. There's uh, real no embarrassment involved. They, they explain who they are, they hand them the envelope, and they can do their wash and drying um, as necessary until you know, they move on to the next routine. Uh, we also do a, a Christmas dinner. Uh, my son and I have uh, prepared dinner for last year. Uh, this year will be our sixth year, but last year we had as many as 160 folks, and um, some are homeless, some are not. Uh, some have nowhere to go. Um, we actually have probably the best time of anybody there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a great time putting things together. Uh, we'd like to think we prepare meals that people may not have on a regular basis. It's the same thing I would serve my family. And uh, it's a very rewarding routine. We have about 25 volunteers uh, that show up every year. Uh, we have varying amounts uh, depending on what year it is. And um, I'd recommend it to anybody uh, that um, you know, thinks they've experienced anything wonderful in the world. That's really a great thing for us.